So jump, jump back. Um, now that we have all this, let's take a look and just see what runs out of the box after running application creator. So I'll run to-do list and we'll run the shell. Hot pups our shell, hot pups up our browser. It'll take just a second and there we have it. This is the code that was um, that we saw inside of that Java file. So essentially the HTML uh, file was called. It called into the generated JavaScript. That JavaScript looked at the browser to determine what type of uh, combination should be sent back. And the code that we had written inside of the Java file is used to create the actual widgets you see. So if I click on this, it gives me a little message, welcome to GWT, and I can close it. So just a nice little sample application so that we know we've configured everything correctly and everything's running. That way we can jump into the Java code and start to create our own GWT widgets ourselves. So I will close both of these. Let's run the compiler. So if I run to-do list minus compile, and this will take just a minute to run because it's going to look at all the files that are inside of our client directory and make a determination of what needs to be translated. So right now it's uh, compiling that particular module. It says it's finished. So if we jump back to Windows Explorer, and I'll get out of the client directory, we'll see we have a new couple of new directories, Tomcat and www. Tomcat's going to be our light hosted uh, browser configuration files that we need so that the hosted browser can run. And if I open up www, and go into my to-do list directory, you'll see a bunch of different files. Let's take a look at just any one of these random files. This is a this is the JavaScript that was generated. Now as you can see this is not very readable. It runs, it runs perfectly, but um, I'm unable to read it. I'm sure many other people, many people are unable to read this as well. This is obfuscated, and this is the default type of JavaScript that's generated if you don't specify anything uh, differently. So let's close this, and let's actually run a different argument to the compiler. So if I run the style argument, I can say let's make the style be pretty. And again, this will take just a little bit to run. So it's compiling uh, all of the code in the client folder into uh, JavaScript. And once this is done, which it is, now I can go back and take a look at those files. Let's jump back into our www directory. And I'll open up one of those JavaScript files again. And now you can tell this is, you know, Still a little bit uh, difficult to read, but a lot more readable than, uh, than the obfuscated version. So there's three versions that you can generate. The obfuscated is by default, pretty is what we're seeing now, and then there's detailed, which gives even more information. I, I've actually found that pretty is easier to read than detailed for myself. There's so much information in detail that I just, uh, I find this to be a little bit easier. Um, so keep in mind that those are the three styles that you can use to generate your code. The last thing I'm going to show here in part two is I'm going to run the project creator. So if I run project creator, and what I'm going to do is I want to use Eclipse. So I'm going to say minus Eclipse and give it the name to do list. I run that, it creates three files for me. It's going to create a test directory. It's going to create our dot project and our dot class path files, which Eclipse needs to be able to import a project easily into uh, into its IDE. So now, if I open up Eclipse, I'd be able to import an existing project, find this to-do list project, and have my code ready to go. So that concludes the second part of the introduction to GWT. We learned where you're able to go to download the GWT binaries. Uh, what types of tools and files are included in those binaries. 
We also saw how you're able to use those tools to build a skeleton GWT module, the different types of files that are included and generated for us. So in the next part, we're going to continue on with our to-do list module and flesh that out using some of the available GWT widgets, take a look at GWT RPC, and internationalization. Thanks for joining me.